Hey, Blessed Ambassadors, welcome to another edition of What's On My Mind. I don't know. Just wanted you to know, I really appreciate it when you come up to me and tell me how these videos have encouraged you. Just the other day, someone came up to me and said, your videos, your What's On My Minds are just so full of words. I said, you bet they are. You bet they are. And that was it. So I took encouragement from that. At least the person saw the videos and I'm declaring a seed was planted and we'll let the Lord water it. But they're correct. These videos are full of words. Okay, here we go. A few weeks ago, Deaconess Nancy, thank you Deaconess Nancy, shared about the 400 years between Malachi and Matthew. Malachi and Matthew, 400 years. And I think we all know that it was 400 years without hearing from the Lord, without prophets, nothing, nothing. But was nothing happening? Of course not. Something was happening. So I, I took that and I've just been meditating on that for a few weeks now and thinking about this ambassador and check this out. Okay, in, in the Bible and on the surface, let's say on the surface, it seems like nothing is happening. However, consider all of the things the Lord had to do to prepare for the coming of Jesus. Not just for the coming of Jesus, but he had to prepare all the disciples, right? He had to prepare all the uh, Pharisees and Sadducees and, and even the leper and the woman that was bleeding. And, and I mean, just think about that. All the people that we see in the Bible, all the people we see in the Bible, in a sense, had to be prepared for the time when they would encounter the Lord Jesus, right? So I, I, I just started thinking about 400 years of, of relationships, of connections, 400 years of victories and defeats, uh, 400 years of prospering, 400 years of lack. I mean, just on and on and on. But the Lord was weaving, weaving, right? Masterfully weaving the moment when the Lord Jesus would come to earth and those people would see him, right? Even Mary and Joseph, of course, right? Mary had to be uh, the daughter of the right people and Joseph had to be the son of the right people. And we know from reading Matthew and reading uh, Luke, how far back that goes. So I just picture this, that for us, it may seem like nothing happened during those 400 years, but for the Lord, it's like he was so busy preparing everything, everyone preparing anything for the time when his son would walk on this earth. Here's my encouragement for you ambassadors. I'm guessing like you're like me. You've had prayers lifted up to the Lord and it seems like nothing is happening on those prayers. So first of all, I hope that you know that he loves you. I hope that you know that when you pray these prayers, he's right there. Right? He's not far away. He's not turned away from you. He's right there listening to your prayer, taking note of it in his heart for you. And he is weaving everything that has to be put in place for that prayer to be answered. So my encouragement is, if you feel like nothing's happening, trust that everything is happening, that he is turning everything for your good. So I hope that even though it seems like nothing is happening, right, that you are at rest, you are at peace, and you're just trusting the Lord that, man, I know you love me, I know you're good, so I'm just going to depend on that, depend on your supernatural favor to have these prayers answered. Now, I don't know why, obviously, I don't know, I wish I did, because then I'll be the fourth part, no, I don't. I won't be, okay, but if it's healing, then trust that he's already worked it out for you to be healed. If it's provision, trust that he's already worked it out for you to be uh, provided for. If it's a relationship you desire, trust that you have that he's already worked it out for you. And that if you're not together right now, it's the best thing for you right now. But that doesn't mean the answer is no. It just means that he's preparing you. He's preparing the other person for the time when you do come together. All right, so here's my encouragement to you, ambassadors. As you think nothing is happening, just think of the Lord's love for you 
and just think that he is working everything for your good. Everything that you see, everything that you can't see, he's working it for your good. And you will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And I declare that you will see it before you know it in the name of Jesus. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one more thing. This is for someone out there. I don't know who it is, but this is from the Lord. He loves you. You matter to him. You're important to him. And he told me to tell you, you're his favorite. You are his favorite. So stay encouraged. Keep your eyes on him and know that he has you. It may seem like he doesn't, but he has you. And he will show himself faithful to you. All right. All right, ambassadors, I love you guys. Peace out.